OK. Um, hey, everyone. Um, welcome to the second day of Decoded. During uh, my talk, I will be talking a little bit about the ASTAR strategy in Japan. Besides of the strategy in Japan, I will also explain more about how we at ASTAR are preparing ourselves for the mass adoption. Um, so today, um, oh, sorry. Um, we have Sota on the call. He is here virtually, as you can see. Um, he couldn't make it because there was like a conflict in conferences. There was like IVS Crypto in Kyoto, Japan. It's the biggest um, blockchain event that there is. So for us, we couldn't go there. So that's why Sota is here. So Sota, can you say hi? Then we can check if it's working. Hello, can you hear me? Uh, yes. Oh, nice. Uh, thank you very much for having me today. Um, I in Kyoto, and that's why background is like Kyoto. I'm super excited to be here and uh, share our, our progress regarding Asta 2.0 and some of the yeah, announcements. OK, thank you. And then introduce myself. My name is Martin Henskins. I'm the head of Asta Foundation. I still remember two years ago in 2021 when I had my first talk at Decoded. It was then completely uh, virtual because of the COVID. And my talk was about how you can become a crypto enthusiast and find a job in Web3. And well, I did. I'm now here two years later standing here as head of foundation. And I think this can only be done in Web3. Such uh, big steps forwards. And I can encourage everybody here as well who wants to work in Web3, just go for it and dream big. And Dreaming big is something that we at ASTAR did from the very early days. So our ASTAR was founded in 2018 um, in uh, Japan. And there were a lot of challenges as well um, when we um, wanted to dream big. And we still have that passion and we still have that um, excitement towards becoming um, a big layer one blockchain, not only by having the functionalities of Polkadot, but also with our narrative that we currently have in Japan. So in 2021, we did like a, um, a poll that was together with the Japanese Blockchain Association, where you can see that ASTAR on Polkadot was at that time in December 2020, 2021, the most famous blockchain in Japan. And we are currently as well the leading blockchain, public blockchain in Japan. There are other blockchains in Japan active, but they are private. We are the only public one and are also regulated by the Japanese government. Um, like I said, there were a lot of bombs on the way where we are now. And we call those bombs on the road that we are heading to the Sota Watanabe problem. Um, and this was the problem that was like a saying in Japan. And why was this a saying? Because we founded a company in Japan, but we were forced out of Japan because of regulation because of the taxation of self-issued tokens, because of the regulation regarding uh, the unrealized gain, gains for um, crypto issuers. And we were forced to move away from Japan into um, Singapore. And it was a shame, a shame because um, SOTA is founded in Japan, and everybody knows the best place is home to work. And, going out of Japan and then um, can't do what he wants to do in Japan made him very loud about all those problems. And this brings to the next topic that I want to say about our road back to Japan, because we were forced out, but we wanted to get back in. And by going back in, the, the major thing that we were doing is like working together with the government. So Soto was very active with building out and supporting the Japanese government about building out the national strategy. And Japanese government were at one point like, OK, we missed the boat to Web2. Web2 all went to the US, to Silicon Valley. But Japan knew that Web3 is very important. It will be the next thing for the internet. It will be used by billions of users. So Japan made the decision Web3 adoption is part of our national strategy. Um, and SOTA was part of the advisory board. He was part of the reviewers of that national strategy. 
And Japan was very loud about it as well, and you, current, and you maybe saw it as well a, uh, last week, where there was like an announcement regarding the um, taxation of on... Um, um, I forgot about what I wanted to say, but unrealized gains on crypto issuers, that was now um, done. So one of the Sota Watanabe problems was solved, meaning that, okay, you can now issue a token in Japan without having that heavy taxation on that token. And by having Web3 adoption in the national strategies opened a lot of doors for us. Um, it opened doors to enterprises because they were like, okay, it's part of the national strategy, so how can we now, as an enterprise in Japan, adopt this and see the full potential of Web3? And we categorized those enterprises in three categories. One being um, those who have an idea what to do with blockchain technologies. And this is where we work together with Toyota Motor Incorporation, where they were like, okay, we have in our enterprise a culture where our employees have a saying in what will become the next strategy or have a saying in the, the next model of, let's say, the Prius or certain features in the cars. And they were like, okay, if this is already embedded in our culture, how can we now create it with blockchain technologies? And everybody here will most likely say DAO. And that's what we did with the Yoda Hackathon. We were contacting all protocols out of different kind of ecosystems to think about how can a DAO culture be embedded in an enterprise culture that is already exists. So we had over 430 participants in this hackathon. Um, the winner was uh, Taritami, where he introduced a solution that is currently being still researched by Toyota of how to incorporate a DAO culture inside their enterprise. Another category is regarding enterprises that still are thinking about what to do. And this is where we had like a um, collaboration with Sunny. Sunny, everybody knows Sunny, everybody knows what they do. Um, they have the brand already out there, but they were like, okay, what can we do now with the blockchain technology? Uh, what can we now do with blockchain? So we had a Web3 incubation program where we, um, went out to all Web3 builders out there to say, okay, Sunny wants to have an incubation program, what can you bring to Sunny? And we had over 200 applications, and 19 projects were selected. We had a demo day uh, last week at the Sunny headquarters in Tokyo, um, where every project introduced their solution, um, solution to Sunny. This was a great thing, and we will do more things as well with Sunny on how to um, embed the blockchain technology in their future solutions that they will bring, or the future gaming or music or whatever. Uh, and then you have the third category. And the third category are projects or enterprises who go in, how to say, it, I don't want to say formal win, but they will use already proven use cases of blockchain technology. And when you think about proven use cases, you immediately will think about NFTs. And this is where we worked with um, um, Yoshitaku Amano. If you don't know the artist, he's one of the creators of Final Fantasy, where he uh, minted his collection on Estar and wanted to create a community around his art. Another uh, example here is the Kalbi NFT. Kalbi is the um, biggest Japanese snack producer and they created an evolving NFT for the users who are buying their ships in Japan. Um, another solution here, another example here is the Tokyo Railway, where they gave NFTs to the most loyal customers where you have yeah. like using uh, the customers as well. And then um, another company here is as well, another railway company who will be utilizing as well the NFTs um, on Astor. Um, famous. Japanese comic series, they are trying to create their communities with NFTs as well, like big uh, IPs or comic series in Japan are also working with us. And then another thing, and a very important thing as well, is the Japanese cities. As I said in the beginning, we have um, now in Japan a Web3 um, national strategy for adopting Web3 there. And other cities are now here as well, thinking about, okay, 
the strategy, we have a national strategy, so we can utilize this. So they are creating a vibrant startup ecosystem focusing on Web3. That previously was a problem that now is being uh, resolved. And we are working with uh, several cities where they, uh, we give them education, we give them support, we give them advisory on how you can start like a business in Web3. Inside of Astor Foundation, we also created Astor Japan Lab, where we are helping and create like a consortium of big enterprises together with other companies to boost Web3 adoption in Japan. This is an example of one of the um, ads we had in the Nikkei News. Um, and then beside Astar Japan Labs, and this is where I will give my talk now over to uh, Sota, is about Startail Labs. So Sota, can you explain more about Startail here, please? Okay, so Tuck, can you hear me? Uh, can you hear yeah. me? Yes. No, yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. Is that okay? Yes. Martin, can you hear me? Yes. Sorry, box noisy is a little bit noisy. So I would like to share um, our updates and our future around five minutes to 10 minutes, and we're gonna have a QA. So first of all, I would like to introduce Asta 2.0, so which is a new vision for us to win in the Web3 market. And we have our several updates, including Starter Labs, Staking 2.0, Asta Link, Asta DAO, uh, Asta Foundation, the Supernova, uh, Token Economics 2.0. So some of the announcement was already published a month ago, but uh, we made made them public last week, officially. And the biggest update is going to be Supernova, uh, which will be which is planned to be public by the end of July. And we do have some of the updates on token economics, staking, and also Asta Link, and so on. So I think token economics is one of the biggest ones. Uh, we plan to reduce our inflation rate, and we plan to increase the gas fee in coming, in coming years. Um, and this is the uh, plan in coming months. So we announced ASTA 2.0 back in June 15th. And we announced the announcement yesterday on June 28th regarding the start tail. And we plan to make some of the upcoming updates each month. And what we announced yesterday is the direct investment from Sony Network Communications. Sony Network Communication is the operating company of Sony Group. And they have been building internet in Japan for more than 25 years. So they know how to operate the infrastructure and they have direct access to Sony Group, which they have a uh, you know a lot of the IP, the gaming, bank, and so on. I think you know uh, we have been talking with almost all Japanese listed companies in the last two years, and I strongly believe that Sony is the best company for Web3 because they have a gaming, they have a sensing, they have a moving, they have a music, they have a bank, and they also have a car. Right, so I think this investment is going to be a game changer in the long run, and we have already started a conversation with Sony to make products together. And in addition to that, um, it is not finally decided, but we plan to do a second patch acceleration program for gaming. So it will be public in coming months, and we would like to work with leading gaming company across the globe together with Sony and Startail on a start. Yeah, uh, this is the first announcement, but we have uh, four upcoming announcements in July, which is also related to the government, related to the big companies, and so on. So, yeah, we're going to change our gear, and we're going to accelerate our progress in coming months. So stay tuned, and if you are interested in Astar, 
Uh, feel free to talk with Martin, uh, some of the developer at the venue. Okay. Yeah, we would like to lead the Polkadot ecosystem and we would like to make Web3 happen. Thank you very much. Do you have any question?